Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Right, I've got a delicate pattern for you now. It's a bead stitch, but it's a very delicate bead stitch. Um, it's not got very many um, wraps. And the other thing is it's both sided. And what I've tried to create is this kind of like, can you see? I want the bead running here. So you've got a bit of texture. And then in uh, the way that we've I've placed the stitches, um, it's creating this really lovely, simple and um, lacy effect. If I stretch it, you can see the pattern here. But this is made in lightweight yarn, number three, and a four millimeter crochet hook. However, when I made this pattern last night, I wasn't quite happy with the edges. So I've changed it up a little bit. So what I'm about to show you is even the more improved version of this. But if you like the stitch for a scarf or a baby blanket, definitely give this one a go if you like subtle texture the pattern is just worked up in an odd number of chains and um, when I made this one it was a completely different setup and it was requiring different stitches here on the side and I'm not I, I want my edges to be a lot more straight than this so I've got an impri uh, improved version and um, I'll show you live now on camera as to whether it will work I think it will work so even a uh, number of chains four millimeter crochet hook and lightweight yarn number three you can use a four but use the appropriate hook i think it's a five uh, number four yarn sorry and you can use a five millimeter crochet hook i will show you very slowly how to do the little uh, beads and um, you can slow me right down as well in uh, playback options and uh, if it's still too fast for you Right, I'm going to begin. So let's just do a very small sample and we're going to chain 16. Work the sample with me, then you can, with the materials that you have, and you see how you feel about it, whether you want to go up or down a hook size and it will give you the width as well, according to the uh, number of chains that you've put on. Right, chain 16. Sixteen chains. Pause me at any time and catch up. What we're going to do is the the pattern consists of a little bead and the extended single crochet. So if you don't know how to do that, I will show you that now. So you never count the one on the hook. Skip one, go to the next one, pop your hook in, pull up the loop. Normally you would pull through two, and that will be your single crochet. For an extended single crochet, you want to just pull through the one loop first. So yarn over, go pull through the first, still left with two, then pull through the two. Now, can you see this little loop here on the side that that's created? We're going to work into that loop. So we're going to do a little um, bead and it's um, going to be only four wraps, uh, four loops on the hook. So don't yarn over because you can make the mistake. So as soon as you've got the extended single crochet, go into that space, pull up the loop, then yarn over and go into it again. Same space, pull up a loop. Oh, just bear with me, split my yarn. You have four loops, pull through all four. That's your little mini bead. Skip the next one, go to the one after. Pop your hook in, pull up the loop, pull through the one and pull through the two. By doing that, you're getting these lines going down and then you've got the beads going that way. Find that loop here on the side, go in, pull up a loop, then yarn over and go into the same space, pull up another loop. Four loops, pull through all four. Skip the next one. Go to the one after, pull up the loop, pull through one, yarn over and pull through two. So go into the side loop here of the extended um, single crochet, pull up the loop, yarn over, go in again, pull up the loop, four loops, pull through all four. Skip the next one, go to the one after, pull up the loop, pull through one and pull through two. 
you probably can't see it much here and that's the other side of it but they it's, it's a both sided pattern which is really great so there's the bead there's the extended single crochet bead extended single crochet line here there and then there's the next one so we've just done the extended single crochet go in pull up the loop yarn over go in again pull up another loop four loops pull through all four skip the next one go into the one after pull up the loop pull through one yarn over pull through two go to that loop on this uh, extended single crochet put your hook in pull up the loop yarn over go in again pull up the loop and pull through all four skip the next one go to the one after and do your extended single crochet use the side loop here put your hook in pull up the loop yarn over go in again pull up the loop and have four loops to pull through skip the next one go to the one after and do your extended single crochet do your little bead then skip one then go to the next one pull up the loop for your extended single crochet do your very final bead and then you'll have one stitch remaining just to a single uh, extended single crochet into that as well pull through one and pull through two trying to show you quite the zoomed up in right row number one again chain one it's always chain one to flip your work go into the very first stitch and do your extended single crochet you can replace the ends if you want to with half double crochet but it's best just to stick with the same stitch less things to think about i guess go in pull up the loop pull through one and pull through two you want to immediately go into there oh no what am i talking about you can't do a half double crochet i forgot because we're actually doing the very first bead into this extended single crochet then skip over that bead find your single crochets your single crochets from the previous row are here don't get confused with that as part of the bead so when you pull it aside you've got this little hole there's the next one there's the next one that's where you want to go into so you've done your bead find your next single crochet so go past the bead go into that stitch here pull up a loop pull through one pull through two and then use your side loop for your little bead and do your single extended single crochet into the single crochets from the previous row and that's all there is to this pattern this will look just as pretty on a thicker yarn i think what i like about this is the fact that it's um has like a subtle bumpy feel to it So you want to do this all the way to the end of the row just picking up a bit of pace now so if you still do need to slow me down and then when you get to the end you'll have your very last puff here you want to go past that you can put your hook right into that little space that is forming or go into the uh, two loops here on the end don't think it really matters so long as we put um, a single crochet uh, sorry extended single crochet on the end and if you can't find where to put it then it's still going to form a nice straight line chain one flip your work again go into there and do your extended single crochet and then do your bead get 
can you see it gives it a really nice straight edge anyway you can probably um I mean, I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. If your lightweight yarn is a bit on the slightly thicker side, because you can get variations from different um, brands, then try four and a half or even a five if you want to create it even a bit more, um, more spacing. But this is a super pattern. Great for uh, dishcloths and face cloths as well. And when you get to your very last bead, there's the uh, there's the bead, there's the place that you need to go for your extended. Now I'll show you one more row because I want to show you the difference from the one that I did before and the straight edges that this one's creating. So chain one, flip your work, go into the very first space and do your extended single crochet. And then do your bead on that single crochet and carry on to the end of the row. It's a quite a relaxing one to do as well. Okay, come into the last bead, there's the bead, there's the last stitch you need to go into, put your hook into there and do your extended single crochet. If you notice the beads They have a slight, um, they're not sitting straight on, we're not creating a stripe here really with them. If I stretch the work, sort of the first one's here, the second one goes that way a bit, then the third row is that way a bit, and then the fourth row is that way a bit. So it creates a, um, more of a difference rather than straight row of beads as well. Okay, so that's the um, pattern. Now if you have a look at this one, and then the one that I did before, See, the edges are much better this way much straighter less wibbly wobbly on the side okay guys i do have a variation of this pattern where i'm going to incorporate another type of stitch so it will be a two row repeat but if you prefer the subtle more softer version of this then go for this one but i will show you another pattern and um you may like that one that has slightly more texture because I've incorporated a puff stitch. So you've got a bead and then you've got the puffs going that way, beads going that way, puffs going that way. It's just as pretty. It's entirely up to you. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please do um, subscribe, like and share. Thank you for all your support, everybody. And I'll see you very soon um, for the next one.